Hello Tauruses and welcome to your weekly reads. Please remember this may or may not resonate. You know the drill, you know how it works, all great stuff. Yes, as you saw, we've got the new launch of the healing bath salts come out. So after the successfully launched bracelets, which everybody said they really have enjoyed whoever purchased it. Um, the reviews have been absolutely outstanding. The feedback I've got personally has been absolutely brilliant you know so um i've come out with something new okay these are the healing bath salts okay so that's these ones right here okay so the healing bath salts is um there is another three alongside this one this one is the xoxo which is the self-love hugs and kisses bath salt okay it has um cinnamon it has um Oof, it has rose petals in there, okay, and a whole other blend of natural oils as well in there, okay. Um, so everything in this is natural. There's another three as well. You can go and check them out. They're on the same website as the charcoal bracelets, okay, on my OA shop. There is another launch coming out real soon as well, so there's no stopping us now. We're going to go, 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 and I couldn't have done it without you guys' support. So again, as always, don't forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe. Everything you need is on the website here above, okay? Um, also, you can find me on Instagram, oracleA1122. This is where I normally entertain you guys with a lot of TikToks and, you know, just make you guys laugh and all the good stuff. All right, brilliant. So let's get straight on with the reading, okay? Pre shuffled your cards, so let's see what you guys have got. Spodents. Oh, come on. I feel like you guys are fretting over something. You guys are fretting over something. Some Someone here might be pregnant. Um, getting close to their due date, perhaps even. But I feel like somebody here is not, um, is not happy about um a certain situation they're not happy with you that's what i feel and i feel like something is coming to a completion but why do you feel taurus like you guys are the only ones to carry the world's burdens on your shoulder like no no you're not the only ones to carry the world's burdens in fact that is not your problem neither is it carrying this other person's burdens on your shoulder you have your own burdens okay you have your own karmic baggage that you are carrying and you can get rid of that karmic baggage okay um you need to let go of that because that is not your problem all right let's see what else we have so we have simplifying your life see i told you declutter it unburden yourself from other people's problems push their problems to the side because it's not your problem okay your problem is your own okay theirs is theirs you don't need to to deal with their mess okay so let's see what else is going on for the main reading i saw a flip card i definitely saw a flip card i'll find it when i don't need it <laughs> Okay, let's see what's going on from the Tauruses. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get our first card for Tauruses. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So your overall current situation is the Nine of Cups. Let me remove this here because it keeps flashing at the bottom of the screen. It's really annoying. Okay, so let's see what's crossing the situation. Still didn't see that flip card, but I definitely saw it. Taurus, your energy came flying up. Okay, so this is the Hierophant that's crossing the situation. Let's see what we need to know about your recent past. You have the Ace of Wands. So you did, in the recent past, have the potential of starting something new. Um, or starting a new business, even. This could have been a home business. Way of making money. The Hanged Woman, which is supposed to be the Hangman. Um, Taurus, Pisces Energy, that's on top of your mind. 
Let's see what's carrying you guys through. You got the Emperor energy. Let's see what we need to know about your near future. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Let's see how you feel within your own energy, within yourself. It's all the world cards trying to fly out. You got the Six of Swords. Let's see the person you're dealing with, your external environment. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Where was surprised if we get the King of Pentacles? That's your energy there. Your hopes, your fears. Empress. And your outcome. Remember that the most liked videos goes into extended, so don't forget to smash that like because the next following week's extended will then go into extent. The next week's reading, whenever that is, okay, is going to go into extended, all right? You have the Wheel of Fortune for your overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Swords. Mm-hmm. Okay, Taurus, if my hair is wet, it's because it is. I had a nice bubble bath with one of these salts. Yes, I use them too, and they really, really are relaxing, and I feel very rejuvenated right now. Um, I feel like a lot of negative energy that I've carried has definitely washed away from me. Um, so I definitely recommend them, and not just because it's my product, it's because I'm actually launching them to help people. Okay, so let's go straight into it. I don't do any more gimmicks or, you know, just waiting around and stuff like that to see what messages come through. I'm going to go straight into the clarifiers. Okay, and the messages come through whenever and however they want. So, guides, spirits, please tell me about this Nine of Cups for my Tauruses. Something rising in Venus. have the tower so something is changing here okay and perhaps you know you're ready to let go of people and certain situations that no longer serve you and clearly i mean if you're carrying the world's burdens or a person's in particular um then yes um it's time to let go of that it's time to break free from those um burdens yep it's time to break free from that situation, okay? Um, I'm trying to get this to focus, but it doesn't want to. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's time to let go of that, okay? Um, with the Nine of Cups here, you've got to think about your unhappiness, and that is exactly what you're doing now, and there's changes going to happen. Now, I feel like a lot of you guys, Tauruses, you're kind of like at that point where you're like, enough is enough. I'm thinking about myself now, and even if a disaster is going to strike, so let it be, because uh, I'm going to create my own stability now okay so that is gorgeous energy there but let's see what's blocking this energy why is there this stagnation how about the hierophant please spirits angel guides oh so this could be a family member this could also be the person that you're dealing with you could be married to this person or you could be dealing with a person who is married because this also signifies a third party situation doesn't have to be though and it's not necessary but as this is in the block position i feel like i feel like on a spiritual level you're unable to connect um or you're unable to ascend you're unable to go through this transformation there is something here that is stopping you and it has something to do with a soulmate connection okay your values don't align with this person's values. Yep, that's what it is. Talking about this Ace of Wands, fair enough. You have the Eight of Swords. So in the recent past, you had the potential of starting something new. And then came the situation where you felt stuck, you felt blocked, and you didn't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. You didn't know how. 
so that left you very much stuck, very much trapped in the sense that it's not that you could not break free from whatever it was um, to have the potential of this new beginning. It's more of, well, actually, how can I go about doing this when there's external factors that I need to consider and they are kind of coming in my way here. And I feel like on a spiritual level, you just do not have the strength or the energy to continue whatever this new beginning was. So let's see what this hand woman is. planning something Taurus you're you're planning something you're working on something um and it's got something to do with family mm -hmm. see that there it's got something to do with family you're planning something uh, at the moment you may be showing other people that you're doing absolutely nothing but actually you are and you're focused on planning this particular thing you're manifesting something Mm -hmm. Let's see what this emperor is about. I don't know why, but I feel like when I look at this, um, it feels like you are facing the... Oh, sorry guys, and the card fell. It feels like you guys are facing the the demon right. Like you're ready to face the demon. You're ready to face your enemy, you know? You're ready to face this snake. Um, I don't know why I kind of got that, but um, I did. I feel like you're ready to face this person. I think that on a spiritual level though, you guys are kind of pushing you there to face what you most fear and you're ready and you're ready for it that's what i feel okay so you have the um hermit coming out in reverse for this emperor okay what can you say about this um what's keeping you going is the stability and knowing that it's gonna come soon you know Knowing that you are going to get that solid foundation that you require. And I feel like you are being quite stubborn in your element right now. But this, you know, right now is not the time to go into hermit mode. You feel right now it's the time to take action. I think that you are actually... Um, you're being stubborn when it comes to certain decisions that you need to make. And I mean, I get it if you're fed up you know you're tired you've had enough but at the same time i i do feel that this is you refusing to listen to the messages that are trying to come in intuitively i think you need to withdraw from the situation um and let go of the stubbornness for a little while just to see what it is that you need to do with at least a clearer mind because um any card that comes out in reverse depending on what card it's come with tends to be sometimes good for the situation but in this case i'm gonna say it's not this is um more of an immature kind of decision you are taking or um making so let's see what this knight of pentacles is a lot of grounded energy here but it's like a fixed energy which is not necessarily bad but you need to have a little bit of that combination of you know um emotions coming in i'm not seeing much there when it comes to when it comes to except for the empress but again that's still a very grounded energy you know i feel like you blocked your emotions nine of wands on the star so you're moving forward slowly and successfully um following your your dreams your wish desires um you're also staying very vigilant you're protecting your environment you're also um keeping an eye on a certain person or a situation which you feel has become a little bit of a headache and has kept you stuck in one place for quite a while. Um, I, I do feel that you're looking over your shoulder though. I feel like you're not completely feeling safe 
um, or completely secure, but you're going to stand your ground and there's that stubbornness coming in again. And Taurus, you're not stubborn. I feel like you know what it is that you want. Um, but because the Hermit is in reverse, I'm going to say it's stubbornness. Um, your, your groundedness is based on stubbornness. That is not entirely good. Okay, so that's just, just saying, you know, but that's how I feel about the situation. And let's see what the Six of Swords is about. You have the Tower again. So there is some serious changes coming in. I feel like there may be some movement as well. I feel like you may be relocating um, to a new place or a new home. You probably don't want to, but you feel like it's necessary considering the circumstances and the situation that you feel like you've put yourself in. But I also feel that this is within your own energy as well. Within you, internally, I feel like there is some kind of change happening here where you're being asked to let go of unnecessary baggages again and break free from this you know let that tower crumble i feel like you're not letting your own that stubbornness is not letting you change the whole situation will not change unless you let go of that stubbornness of being fixated on something you know i don't know what it is but it's definitely something to do with standing your ground or being very grounded um, and maybe you're being stubborn for a good reason but again you have other things that you need to deal with right now and that this is not one of those let's see what the queen of pentacles is saying because i feel like this could be a person that you're dealing with a single parent perhaps you could be a single parent yourself because we do have the empress here so it can signify pregnancy for a lot of you guys It could be that your person is being stubborn and they're not letting go. Take it out, it resonates. The hanged man. Again. So it's a little less grounded than Aries energy, let's just say that. But I feel like there is some kind of transformation going on around you. Um, definitely within you. I'm picking up pregnancy, so a lot of you guys could be pregnant. There is something coming to a completion. You um, are planning for the future. You're planning perhaps for the pregnancy after the baby, you know, what you're going to do. Um, you're taking responsibility, you're nesting, okay? I feel like you guys are nesting. Um, but you're taking on somebody's energy here, which is not yours, you know? And I feel like, and I don't mean the pregnancy. Um, no, I, I mean this is somebody else's energy that you are taking on. And it's not your problem, you know? It's not your problem. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's see what this entrance is about. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Got the Eight of Cups. So, the Eight of Cups. I think you're walking away from definitely that baggage that, you know, that you're holding on to. But I also feel that you are fed up, perhaps, with a relationship that where you're not getting the support that you need, where you're not getting the... Um, It's stopping you from going through this growth and it's it's causing you a lot of stress especially now that you are you know pregnant there's more stress on you and I feel like that is what's going on here um, I feel like for a lot of you you're getting close to your due date as well so let's see what this wheel of fortune is going back to the wheel of fortune heard the word predestined okay so it was predestined already um seven of cups and ace of pentacles so um 
it is predestined that you have choices and you have options when it comes to what it is that you want to do and how to make your future a lot better for yourself um there is definitely i think once you've had this baby there is definitely going to be a lot more doors opening for you um and the universe is definitely giving you the blessings and abundance that you deserve so tauruses congratulations if you're having a baby and for those who are not be careful because it looks very fertile this time okay for you guys but again it's about putting down unnecessary energies that are not yours don't take on the energies okay of other people it's not your problem flush it away okay <laughs> give it back to them all right tauruses so i'm gonna leave this here don't forget to uh like share and subscribe as always okay if you have done so already thank you so much for your support and your continuous support don't forget to check out the website and check me out on instagram as well i'll see you guys real soon Bye bye